Hey guys, so we're going to be doing a CPU upgrade on this Dell R520. So in order to remove this cover, you're going to lift this black latch up backwards and that's going to release the locking tab. And we're just going to set that aside. And next thing we have to do is release the blue locking tab that you see in front of the fans there. That's the shield for the ducting for cooling the dual CPU sockets. And this particular R520 does have dual CPUs. Um, however, these ones are only four core Xeons and we're going to play, be replacing those with 6 core 12 thread alright so next step CPUs. is you're going to want to unscrew the 4 Phillips number 2's holding down the CPU heatsink and I like to give them about a turn and a half or so for each of them until they are all loosened up I don't like to do one at a time I like to do them um, each a little bit until it's fully lifted up from the socket Alright, so now I'm just going to lift up both of the heat sinks and I'll come back to you when I have both of them removed. Alright, so now that both of the heat sinks are removed, I'm just going to take a um, paper towel and some rubbing alcohol and uh, remove all the old thermal compounds from both the heat sink and the old CPUs if you want to ever reuse them or sell them. All right, and we're back. Now that all the thermal compounds are removed, I'm going to remove both of the CPUs by pulling up on the locking mechanism and pulling to the left and up. And then that whole entire locking mechanism will lift up and out of the way. And you can just pull the CPU right out. Okay, now the new CPUs that we're gonna be putting in these are Intel Xeons E5 2440s and those are 6 core 12 thread CPUs and when you are installing these you're going to want to line up the triangle shape on the CPU with the triangle on the motherboard and I'm just giving it a little wiggle to make sure it's fully seated now I can close the CPU cover and latch it down And I'm just going to do the same thing with the other CPU. Line up the triangle on the CPU with the triangle on the board. And just place the CPU in the socket. And I just like to give it a little wiggle to make sure it's fully seated. And now you can close the cover and we put down the locking mechanism. Alright, now the last step is to put some thermal paste back onto the CPU itself. Uh, this particular paste is made by Noctua. I'm just going to give a couple small drops around the CPU itself. Alright, now I'm going to reinstall the CPU heatsink and do the opposite of what I did to uninstall it. So you're just going to line it up on top of the stud mounts and tighten down the screws again. Alright, now both the heat sinks are fully installed and tightened down. We're going to replace the cooling duct and we're going to slide back the blue locking mechanism. And that's it. Now you can just put your cover back on the Dell server. And we lock it using the black locking tab. And now after you've done this, you are going to want to um, hit F2 during boot up. And that's going to bring you into your BIOS and you're just going to want to double check 
that your CPUs are shored up correctly in the BIOS.